Pastor Tomlinson, yes. welcome to uh, Garden Hilton Hotel and Glass Awards Men of Excellence. Thank you for having me. You have been ministering for how long? I've been ministering now for about uh, 12 years, but I've been in ministry for about 23, 24 years. Could you give us a, maybe a brief overview of your journey in that uh, time? Well, it's been an interesting uh, journey altogether. I, I felt the call of God to enter into the city of Brampton to start a work there, and we've gone through a number of different transitions. Uh, the most recent one is um, acquiring a new property, and uh, now God has given us the opportunity to do ministry on another level and Great. to impact the city of Brampton uh, in a different way, in a unique way for him. Great. Now, um, obviously, I think you, a lot of your parishioners will consider you a man of excellence for your entire time of ministry, but what do you think led people to say that this is a time that you should be recognized for what you've done? Is there anything particular in the last maybe year or two that, that, that maybe has been a, a changing point in terms of your, your walk with God? Well, I think what it comes down to ultimately is meeting the need of the people. Right. And I think uh, once your focus is on um, individuals and not self, uh, right. then I think individuals will begin to recognize that and be able to draw to you and see that this is a genuine uh, experience, a genuine uh, kingdom-minded thing that's taking place, and it's not something that it's self-absorbed. So uh, I think even with this particular uh, award, I give the credit to those that are working alongside of me because my main thing is just to uh, do the most and the best that I can do for His glory. That's great. Now, um, there's, a, there's a certain section in the Bible about old men dreaming dreams, and we're not that old yet, but maybe you have a dream that's coming up uh, in the next little while. Where do you think you want to take your ministry and your church uh, in the upcoming year? And maybe in terms of your walk in Brampton. And, and mm -hmm. because obviously a church is more than just the four walls, as you said, that's right. evangelism is out there. That's right, that's right. Well, ultimately, my vision and where I'm looking to go with the help of the Lord is to impact the city of Brampton in a greater way. And God has now given us a platform to be able to do that. Uh, as I said recently, we have acquired a new building. Right. And so now we've got uh, a base of operation to be able to do the things of God and to impact the city. Globally, I'd like to go internationally. So now Terrific. that we have this, um, this location, uh, we're now pushing forward to let folks know that, hey, we're in this part of town. Now come and check out, come and see what God is doing. And uh, God will begin to provide and send individuals to help us on that level. Now the name of the church again is? The name of the church is Hope Christian Ministries in Brampton. Now, Hope Christian Ministries is That's now going to go live maybe? Is that one of your dreams? That with, is one of the, my dreams. There you go. Ultimately to go live, um, as I said, I want to take it outside the four walls. Yep. And it's not just preaching, but to let folks know that we're doing kingdom-minded things, be able to establish ministries that are at the heart of people and right. to meet their needs as well. Well, Pastor Tomlinson, every blessing. Thank you for sharing our, our couch. Yes. And we're looking forward to seeing you get your award inside and then walking across the stage tonight. Thank you so much. Okay. A pleasure being with you. Okay. Praise be to God. SMJ Magazine Live here is with Pastor Bolton Noah of Logo Apostolic Church in Toronto. Welcome, Pastor Noah. Thank you. Thank you. Now, You've been considered a man of excellence, but I'm sure your uh, congregation has considered you a man of excellence in your entire ministry. Uh, just tell us about your walk with God. How long has it been and where has it taken you? Um, I've been working with the Lord now for some years. Uh, how many years? I got how many saved years? in uh, 1978 and uh, it's been a wonderful uh, time with the Lord. So basically, uh, since 1978, when I got saved, I've been uh, very fervent about the business of the Lord. Have you been uh, in the Toronto location the whole time, or is your walk with God taking you different places along the way? Yes, uh, I came to uh, Canada particularly in uh, 2009, pardon me, 1982. And uh, I was the assistant pastor of one of uh, G GTA uh, largest church. And uh, in the year 2000, we started our work, uh, which is now Logos Apostolic Church. Terrific, terrific. Now, um, you've probably been nominated for a number of reasons, but what maybe can you tell us about your ministry in the last year or two has stood out, has stood out and made, um, and made, you uh, sort of uh, think that this is a this is a time to you want to sort of 
uh, take your ministry to the next level? Well, especially uh, uh, Lagos has been about excellence and uh, fervency and uh, holistic uh, ministry, which has to do with uh, reaching the community and making sure that everyone gets to know about the, the church and what God is doing. What dreams or what goals do you think you have moving forward in the next year or two for Logos and for your congregation and for the area in which you evangelize and minister? It is my goal to make sure that every member of Logos uh, is positively engaged to influence uh, everyone that they come in contact with, thus uh, enabling uh, the assembly to uh, gain increase. So that's right. Logos is more than just the four walls. No. It's, it's evangelism 24-7. Exactly. Okay, well, thank you very much, Pastor Noah. We appreciate your time. And thank you very congratulations. much. Thank you. We're speaking with Pastor Jay Caprietta of Bethel Kingdom Ministries in Scarborough. Pastor Caprietta, congratulations on your Men of Excellence Award. Thank you very much. How long has your walk with God been? Um, well, I actually grew up in the church, and so, but I uh, actually got saved at about 14. And how long ago was that? Oh, that's... Uh, I'm going to date you now. <laughs> <laughs> 22 years. 22 years. Yeah. Okay. Now, you, your, your ministry probably hasn't always been at Bethel. Like, where have you been along the way? Um, well, I've been uh, at Bethel now for five years. Yes. And I started the work of God in 2009, um, was sent from uh, Atlanta, Georgia, Come, up, Whoa. come back up to Toronto, yeah. I thought I'd heard a bit of an accent. So what was, <laughs> what was the uh, um, reaction or like in terms of your family, in terms of Georgia versus Ontario? Yes, yeah, so I, I'm originally from uh, Toronto. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, and m my wife's American, so I left uh, Toronto, went down there for about seven years. Okay. And uh, God just you know, showed up in my life. <laughs> nice long testimony, but um, showed up and told me to go to Toronto. So now I'm back. Well, that, that happens to a lot of, a lot of the ministers. Um, now, you've been nominated, I'm sure, and you've probably been a man of excellence all your walk with God. But what do you think maybe are some highlights that have brought you to this point of this award today, maybe that have happened in the last year or two at Bethel? I would just say, uh, you know, just to put it uh, the best that I know, it's just simply the grace of God. Terrific. That's it. Yeah. Terrific. Now, um, obviously, um, ministry is more than the four walls. And I think that you'd probably agree that you know evangelism is a key, and to bring people into God of Christ, into Christ, you have to look in their hearts, and sometimes you have to go where they are. So maybe, what kind of dreams do you have to sort of expand Bethel, and where do you see your walk in Scarborough the next year or two as you move forward? Well, I uh, I already do uh, evangelism uh, out on the streets, and I you know anytime I meet somebody, I talk to I'm a talkative person. When okay. I talk. To, when I see people on the streets, I actually pray for them and, and I actually talk with them. But corporately as a church, uh, I act, I'm actually training our people doing discipleship to actually do that on a day-to-day -day basis. So we're taking the church, uh, not just uh, in, you know, behind the four walls, but we're taking it into the workplace. We're taking it into the malls, into the grocery store. Uh, we're taking Christ everywhere that we go. Just like Jesus in the 70. Amen. <laughs> okay. Well, Pastor Caprietta, thank you very much. Congratulations again on your award. We look forward to seeing you later on and walk across the stage tonight. Thank you okay. very much. Okay. God bless. God bless you. Okay. SMJ Live is talking with Bishop Woodrow Thompson, Church of God Prophecy uh, in Mississauga. Well, that's where my office is. Whereabouts is your church? Uh, uh, Brampton, Ontario. Pastor of church in Brampton, Ontario for... Okay. 18 years, but I'm no longer pastoring. I'm what we call a national overseer. I oversee 30 churches between Ontario and Quebec. Now. Oh, terrific. Yes. Now, congratulations on your Thank Man you. of Excellence Award. Thank you. Um, now, is there anything particular that maybe you can attribute to it that, that because you say you're no longer pastoring? Is there a particular program you're involved in and how you were nominated or what you've been doing in your walk with God recently? Well, I still pastor, but I'm what you call pastor pastors. <laughs> So I'm no longer pastoring. Actually, I'm an interim pastor for one of our congregations. Okay. But now I pastor pastors. So 30 pastors who pastor local churches. 
I now pastor them as they pastor their congregation. And you know, that's something we forget, you know, uh, pastors need pastoring too. That's correct, that's correct. Okay, everyone's got their weak moments. That's, that's true. Yeah. What do you think has been a, a media success in terms of just uh, people at large? Because obviously the church is more than just four walls, especially these days. Uh, what would you say is, is something that you strive for in your own excellence? Well, one of the things that we realize is that church is not the four walls. Exactly. So the church is here as we gather today. Yeah, so it's right here. The four walls is not the church. But one of the things I strive for um, as a person of excellence in what I do now is making sure that pastors receive the pastoral care they need. You rightfully make a good point. Pastors do have their own challenges. Exactly. So they're always caring for the congregation. The question is who cares for them? Exactly. So that's where I come in and caring for them and helping. Do you find that there's anything in one, one, if you had to put your finger on one thing that they need help with most, is it just like burnout or they need a, just someone to talk to or what would be a, one thing that you, you find that in this, this day, because it's not an easy profession, because it is a profession too. It is, it is a profession. I find that pastors are lonely. They have now, isn't no one that they interesting? Really trust. Lon lonely at the top, huh? <laughs> Because sometimes they feel like there's no one they can trust because pastors deal with so many different things that they're afraid to talk to just any parishioner. Exactly. So that, that's where I come in and help them through that period of loneliness and bring in uh, encouragement okay. to them. We're going to, one last question before I go because it sounds right. like they need you. Where do you think your walk with God is going to take you in the next year or two? Oh, where I think my, uh, I'm not sure, I'm just open to whatever the Lord is. The Lord loves to surprise you. There so you I go. I never knew I would be here, but one word, grace. It's all about grace. Bishop, God's grace. thank you so much, thank and you. congratulations. God bless you. Okay. Thank you for having me.